I told people it was for medical reasons. I told people I got sick a lot, that I was a germaphobe. No matter where I went, there I wore it, at the store, at school, even at home. Whenever people see me, they always try to look away. When they talk to me, they do their very best not to stare. They think they're being polite. Friends were hard to come by, mostly. That is, until she came. Hey there, I'm Megan, poli sci major and an avid ice skater. I can't, I'm germaphobic. Really? Okay. Hey, can I borrow some hand sanitizer? I forgot to wash my hands and the bathroom's just so far away. Do you mind? Sorry, I forgot mine too. At home. A germaphobe who forgot her hand sanitizer at home. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm not mad at you for lying. Hey, I'm sorry. What's your name? Laura. Well, nice to meet you, Laura. Really, I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's fine. So why do you wear a mask? Why do you wear one? Oh, well, I have an immunodeficiency, so my body can't fight off germs as well, so I have to be super careful. So you're the germaphobe. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I have a hemangioma. A what? It's a birthmark, an ugly one. Oh, wow. Can I see it? It's... It's ugly. Actually, I... I think it's kind of cool. <gasps> Crap, I forgot! Sorry, it was really nice meeting you, Laura. She came back every day. COVID-19 came around. And suddenly, we weren't so different from the rest of the world. I know I shouldn't say this, but it was kind of a nice time. I know it's not your birthday yet, but I figured since the pandemic's finally ending, we should have a little celebration. Well, that's for me.
I see you wear the same two masks all the time, so I thought I'd help you out with that. A mask at the end of the pandemic? I guess. Ironic. Thank you. Something wrong? Well, sometimes I wish I didn't have to wear these. Sorry, I like your gift. No, I get it. COVID's ending, normal is coming back, and we're about to be not normal. I know how you feel. What if you could take it off? What do you mean? Like. What if you stopped wearing masks? I mean, we can't. I mean, you kind of can. I mean, it's not like you have to. I can't remove my birthmark, I told you. I know, but... Which is not my fault. I know. Other people's birthmarks can be removed, but apparently it doesn't work that way for me. I get it. Well, maybe you can try and get it a little sooner next time. Look. All I'm saying is that you don't always have to be the weird kid who sits in the corner wearing a mask all the time. You're right. I should just be the weird kid in the corner with a giant tomato on her face. That's much better. Laura, you're fun, you have an interesting backstory, and you're super smart. But you're telling me that you went through all of high school without making a single friend? I could make a lot of taken friends. Laura... Look, I'm ugly. No one wants to hang out with an ugly person. What we need to do is just get used to the fact that we aren't ever going to be normal. We can't take off our masks, and that's okay. We can't make friends as easily, and that's okay. I've learned to just embrace it, you know? I can make friends. Well, good for you. So why do you wear a mask anyways? What? If you don't wear a mask, people will look at you weird. If you do wear a mask, people still look at you weird, so why bother? I'd appreciate it if we dropped this. Well, I'd appreciate it if you answered the question. Why do you care? Because it doesn't make any sense. I mean, when was the last time you talked to someone other than me? I'd love to if they bothered. They do bother. I have a boyfriend. I have classmates that I study with and people I hang out with. Well, good for you. They like me, Laura. They do. And they hang out with me despite my issue. Are you sure it's not because of it? Oh, my body is so vulnerable. If I even stub my toe, I could die. Hey, I have an actual issue here. They'll be serious if I'm not careful with it. Right, which is why you go fucking ice skating? How many injuries do people get from that? I skate because it's the only thing that makes me feel like I'm normal, okay? That's fine. But just because you can't handle the fact that I've embraced who I am and you haven't, doesn't mean you can criticize me for it. If I could, I'd switch places with you without hesitation. What are you doing? Where are you going? Wait. Well, wait, stop for a second. Would you stop? Fuck you, Laura. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry, would you come back, please? You're not embracing the fact that you have a birthmark. You're embracing the fact that you're an asshole. She never came back. I thought more about what I said to her than what she said to me. I thought about what I said to other people before her. People who approached me. Teachers who tried to help me. 
I blamed them. I blamed her. I hated them and I hated myself. But eventually, I remembered something. The pandemic is over.